There we are. <laughs> Game audio. Hi, everyone. Sorry for the wait. Uh, you know, you gotta come in, get your coat off after a good long day of grocery shopping and just catch your wind there and... Uh, uh, and uh, ca cancel the fucking echo on the streamy thing. There you go. Shut the fuck up, please. So, here we go. Got the Twitch chat up, and we've got the game up, and the game is quite loud in my earphones, actually, so I'm just gonna turn that down for a bit, and... Ah! The first combatant joins the chat room. Hi, Siriar. Always a pleasure to see you. Hoping that more will join. Uh, yeah, also, sorry about the confusion uh, for cancelling this and then suddenly not uncancelling it. Not uncancelling. That's a double negative, isn't it? <laughs> Un uncancelling it. Uh, I was actually supposed to go shift some furniture today and then uh, yesterday evening I found out that had been cancelled so then I could uncancel this. I could also shut up and just play the game. How about that? Let's do that. So let's... <laughs> Uh, I am a master at naming save games. All right, so as per Josh Henry's uh, suggestion, I have saved my game here because I might actually get killed. Hold on a second. I should probably actually tweet out that the stream is on. Oh, this just sounds so good when the game stutters like that. I don't even have tweet deck open here, so I'm just gonna ah fucking keyboard. Yeah, this is the exciting part of the stream. I didn't bring my phone up here, so I have to do it from the computer. Yes, now we can finally get busy. <laughs> Someone who Sir Yard comes up with the strangest uh, stories. Someone who lives with me said something strange. She said there's a chance you'd be back today. I never believed her, thinking I had to wait next week. How prophetic! I mean, wow. Uh, t tell your friend. Hi, and she's a witch! <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing it's a she. Oh, and we've got Salty Horse, and we've got Darth Helmet, and uh, we might... Is that one gonna ping uh, Josh Henry? I think I forgot to do that in the tweet. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. So we can finally get the whole band together. There we go. That didn't take long. And just gonna get everything back in here. There we go. Excitement abounds. That is how we stream, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have one final victory sip before we go. And then we shall bring the ruckus. Jesus, sorry about that. All right, cool. Uh, can anyone remind me what we're actually doing? <laughs> Hi, Summer. Oh, you're gonna watch the stream on your phone. Oh, poor, poor you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Our notebook says... Nothing! Nothing of importance! Mary playing is in jail, we know that. Large witch holiday in three days' time, we know that. Scary spooky guys in the forest, uh, one of them being the sheriff. Uh, spell ingredients, we've already got that. We didn't actually get the spell. That, that could come in handy, but I'm guessing uh, we don't actually need that. Wait, what's that? Once the witch is burned, kiss her. Why would I do that? Why would you just put your lips on ashes? I mean, not to, not to, you know, be insensitive or anything, but that just seems counterproductive somehow. All you get is a mouthful of ashes. I don't, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> but yes, yes, as you, as you quite correctly summarized, I have found out that the uh, sheriff is evil, and we have to do something about that. Maybe. Now here's a thought. We should just. Uh, break into uh, his house 
and you know have a look around. So I just went up to my room and checked to see if it, you know game trigger or something something was gonna happen. But you knock but get no answer. Constable McGee must be out. Can we just break into his, his room, please? Crowbar. Let's go. Let's go. Let's not go. Apparently. Oh yeah, fine. You'll break into historical landmarks with a fucking crowbar, but as soon as it's someone's house, oh no, no, that would be wrong. Oh geez, Summer is gonna go <laughs> on a bus and watch this, and then walk home in the rain, and oh my. Uh, and I thought I was having a hard time. So Okay, so apparently I'm not supposed to do anything in town. I'm just gonna check around just for the, just for kicks. We don't want to go in the church, and we're not about to dig anyone up, sadly. Yes, yes, Darth. Murder crowbar is best crowbar. It is my new bestest friend. It is, in fact, the bucket of Ben Jordan Three. Uh, you, you'll you'll know, of course, that a bucket is the most important inventory item in any an adventure game protagonist's arsenal. But just shy of a bucket. You know, we've got a crowbar. Ah, there you are, Jordan. I've been looking for you. I've been looking for someone to accuse. Thought I wouldn't see you in the woods, did you? Thought maybe you'd solve the case. And he goes, Mwahaha, because he's quite evil. You killed the McBee children, didn't you? You were going to frame poor Mary and make yourself look like some big hero. And he's got the scowly eyes, so that means he's business, all business like. Well, you're half right about that, but your half ass theories suck. The truth is, I. Didn't get to read that. I've come to stop you snooping around. Your leash has become too slack. What are you talking about? I have this dungeon, you see, and I want to get you in there and dress you up. And I don't think I need to waste time explaining to myself. What? Are you going to kill me? Of course not. I'm no murderer. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm too old for that anyway, I guess. But I seriously doubt you'll be coming along quietly. So I'm going to have to use this tranquilizer gun to make sure you don't put up a fight. <laughs> okay, am I supposed to do something? I'm gonna whack him over the head with the crowbar, see what happens. Ah, so I didn't think it's fuzzy and you black out. Fuck. You know what? No, screw that. I am going to try that again. You finally wake up and find yourself tied up in a very small room. Your pockets feel slightly empty. Uh, fuck it. I am going to load my game and do that again. Because he gave me a little bit of time. And I am dead certain... Oh shit, it's the AGS uh, thing to the thing. Yes! I accidentally skipped the uh, dialogue bit, but holy crap, I did it. I knocked him the fuck out with the murder crowbar. I hope I didn't give him a concussion or brained him over the head or something. <laughs> Alright, so we've got an important save game where um, we've um, accomplished. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is what Josh referred to as, you know, the tipping point where you can uh, actually get, um, uh, you know, story branch. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm forgetting words. Words escape me. So, uh, uh, Sheriff out cold. This is not, not my best work, save game naming wise, but uh, it'll have to do. <laughs> my drank crowbar. <laughs> Thank you, Darth. <laughs> There's nothing to do there. I'm just gonna poke his body for a bit. Is he- is that a pull of his own urine? Cool, I made him wet himself. I want my crowbar back! Give me back my fucking crowbar! Uh, I'm just- I'm- I'm seriously just gonna leave a- hopefully just passed out sheriff and a bloody crowbar with my fingerprints all over it in the middle of everything. Is that how this is gonna work? I pick up the- fine, we'll leave. But I can't even... I can't even get the right icon to appear. Cool. I am guessing the woods is where I want to go. But first, let's see if anything has changed around here. Maybe she's got a second crowbar. Find nothing else. Damn. Uh, something in the lake area. I'm just gonna check every screen because you never know what that rat bastard Francisco might be hiding. Although it doesn't seem like he's hiding much because he's a nice person. Kiss dead sheriff. Oh, yes. Or as any uh, Space Quest 2 player would have tried if this was a parser game. I'm just gonna leave that little Easter egg reference up in the air and uh, not explain any further. See, I want this rock 
but it is not a rock. In fact, he's just pawing at the air. The air feels much chiller here. It's no, I am pointing at a rock, dumb fuck. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Onwards and oh well. So the mystery clearing is just not that useful at this time. All right, fine. We'll go and we'll go and kick the sheriff a bit. See if something rattles his memory. Also, of course, I could go left here at the uh, forest fork here, and I would admit to playing Space Quest Two, Darth. It is a fine game. The remake or the original? Actually, both are good. I... Oh, this fucking music again. I am... Um, the uh, Infamous Quest's remake of Space Quest 2 is probably the best fan remake of any game ever. And no, don't get me started on King's Quest. Fuck the King's Quest ones. Because um, Space Quest 2, the remake, just fucking gets it. Uh, this one, however... What am I doing? I'm Now I'm just running around in circles. Maybe I... Oh, wait, wait. After having surveyed the surroundings and, you know, taken a stroll because he's just brained someone over the head and feels guilty about it, Ben decides to go visit his new... Oh, he's still there, isn't he? Decides to go and visit his new crush. Apparently he gets one every game. And... Tell her that he just whacked a cop over the head. Hi, Mary. Yes, Ben. I'll see you soon. <laughs> You don't want to know what I'm fucking doing. Um, oh, can I just let her out, please? The door is locked. No? Why couldn't I search the sheriff, you would really think? I mean, really? At least he would have the key to his house, or... Constable McGee has been knocked out cold. Oh, I see my mistake now. Sorry for boring the piss out of you. Uh... So if I click here, it's just the fucking path. I mean, apparently the only part of him that's clickable is his pants area. <laughs> we shall investigate his pants. Yes. You search the constable and find a key on a key ring. You also take the opportunity to snag his tranquilizer gun. Thank fuck he didn't wake up in the, like, 20 minutes we spent walking around the forest. <laughs> Oh, we can't get- oh, good! Good one, Darth. Let's try and... He's not very talkative. No, this- this is why, um... This is why, in the Space Quest Historian Adventure game, which I swear is actually happening, uh, I'm gonna put in context-sensitive UIs, so if you click the mouse on an object, I can put in, you know, context-sensitive, uh, verbs. So, if someone passes out cold in the game, although, spoiler, no one actually does, uh, I- I was- I would definitely put in kiss that sheriff. No. <laughs> Maybe he's hiding something in his cavities. Good one, salty horse. I uh, I did already poke around his butt for a bit, but uh, that didn't seem to... Ah, click out of the fucking game. I am, however, guessing that this will get us into his house, his abode, where uh, abode things will happen. We shall uncover deadly secrets and possibly shoot someone with a trank gun. Fucking let me in already! Honestly, really? It <laughs> now behold this click event! You knock, but get no answer. Constable McGee must be out. See, it it actually works. It's, you know, it's... <laughs> See, it works both ways. See, he is out, and he's also out. Alright, now fucking let me in. It's the wrong key, isn't it? I clicked the wrong fucking key. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh. Dip. It still doesn't fucking get me anywhere. So what the hell does this unlock? Will it actually tell me? It's a key on a ring you took from Constable McGee. Yes, but I thought that would let me into his abode. Which, uh, you know, come to think of it, um... It, it strikes me that it looks more like a jail key than a house key. <laughs> so, so no one saw that, I hope. You unlock the cell door with the constable's key. There you go, Mary. You're free to go. Oh, Ben, you're amazing. 
Please have my children. But I have no place to go. If I go back home, the townspeople will come looking for me once they found out I'd escape. Well, you didn't technically escape. I just let you out. Well, you could always come back to the inn with me. There's nobody around during the day. No one would see you. All right, let's go there. Then. <laughs> ben, you fucking horn dog. Well, you'll be safe in my room, Mary. I don't think anyone will think to look in here before we get this whole mess sorted out. And by mess, I mean those awful clothes you're wearing. You should get out of those. Oh, Ben, I can't thank you enough. Oh, no thanks necessary. I'm just doing my job. And he's not even looking her in the eyes. He's just going, mm -mm. No, it's more than that. You've been so kind to me and treated me as a friend, even though I was the prime murder suspect. But it was plainly obvious that was bullshit, so... Not many people would do that. I mean, I can't remember the last time someone was kind to me. The whole village always thought I was a witch, so I never really had any friends. Oh, the music swells! Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. I don't see how anyone could be unkind to such a sweet and pretty person. Oh, my goodness. You're making me blush. And Darth says, he isn't dead. You can't kiss her. <laughs> I, I must confess, I thought you were particularly handsome when we first met. I was so anxious to get out of jail so I could spend more time with you. Oh, now I'm the one who's going to blush. And I'm the one who's going to fucking puke. Come on. Wow, I don't really know what to say. Don't say anything. Just kiss me again. Ravage me. Take me to your bed. <laughs> Jesus, that was the most awkward fucking romance in any adventure game I've played, I think. Wait, actually, no, let me put that to the chat. Is that the most awkward romancing scene that you've ever seen in an adventure game? <laughs> Siriar. Unwittingly, Siriar makes the cleverest joke he's ever made. The climax is building. <laughs> Gross, alive people are kissing. What happened? Salty Horse, you should go ask your parents. All right, uh, knowing that we've probably already done so, let's poke at her for a bit. Again, you don't want to wake her up. You don't want to wake her up. Cool. So, already in his work clothes and ready to get back to business, Ben just fucking leaves. I'm off to pick up croissants and coffee. You want anything, honey? Nothing was showed. Why? I don't know. Maybe Francisco's not into animating pixel characters getting Humpty Dumpty with each other. I don't know. Anyway, that does deserve a victory. <laughs> Stay hydrated, guys. Oh, fuck. As I expected, you didn't listen to me. I warned you, Jordan. I told you to get out of town, but you insisted on staying, much to my chagrin. Now I'm afraid I have no choice but to interrogate you as a suspect in this case. All right, please don't go in my bedroom, because there's another suspect in there. Go right ahead. I have nothing to hide except for the suspect in my room. We'll see about that. Come with me. Now wear this hood. I'm just going to pace back and forth a bit. Would you mind not pacing so much? It's really starting to get on my nerves. Yeah, also I never got my victory sip, so please pace some more. I'm formulating some questions for you, Jordan. I think very slowly. Now, I have precious little time, so I'd appreciate it if you were as truthful as possible. Your precious little time, which you j just spent walking. Okay. What do you know about Mary Blaine's disappearance from the town jail? <whistles> Nothing. Here's my victory sip. Stay hydrated, guys. Also, quick question. Um... Why did we pick up the trank gun, but not the bloody crowbar with our fingerprints on it? Okay, okay, I'm gonna put this to the chat. What should we tell Percy to Hershey? Should we tell him the truth? Should we lie? Should we invade the... Invade the question? I don't know how you do that, but... <laughs> or should we just insult the fuck out of him? Seriar uh, votes insult. I am liable to go with that one. Darth wants to tell the truth. Who are you and what have you done with a Darth I know? Salty says insult. That's two votes for insult. <laughs> if nothing else comes up in the next 30 seconds, I'm insulting the hell out of him. I'm just waiting for Summer to go, just insult the fucker. <laughs> Although she's on a bus, so. She's probably sitting there on the bus with headphones on, shouting into the, the, into the whole bus, just insult the fucker. Or, or maybe not. So I'm just going to insult him now. Sorry, Darth. Minority. Um, majority wins. Screw you, Percy. The name's Percival. And I don't appreciate your attitude. 
You couldn't interrogate your way out of a paper bag, which is not how you get out of a paper bag, but fuck it. Very well. Obviously, I've hit a soft spot. We'll move on to the next question. <laughs> now then, who murdered Wilma Wiggins? Ooh. Constable McGee said he didn't kill anyone, so I'm guessing that's not really the one who's doing it. The McBees, shifty non-eye persons, might, uh... Might, I'm, I'm still gonna say they're probably in the dark cult thing, but technically Ben doesn't know that there's a whole cult mess of things. They just saw, he, he just saw one hooded figure in the forest and the constable talking to him. So, accusing dark witches wouldn't make sense if Ben was a normal person, but uh, halfway through thinking that sentence up, I just figured that, you know, Ben is pretty quick to just... Uh, accuse any supernatural events of, you know, being the culprit, and weirdly, he's usually right, but it just sounds weird for, um, you know, it's a, oh, it's a ghost pirate. You know, it could just be, no, ghost pirate. So, Salty Horse says, the Dark Witches did nothing wrong, and we got points for insulting Percy, I would imagine that. And Darth Helmet says, we should accuse the Dark, dark Witches anyway. I am liable to, for some reason, accuse the McBees. Because Constable McGee said he didn't kill anyone. Percy is just too much full of his own shit and also wasn't here when the, um, when the, uh, uh McBee children were murdered. So I'm, I'm guessing... You know what? Is, is anyone gonna talk me out of uh, accusing the McBees? Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna do it. I think the McBees killed her. The parents of the murdered children? Why would they do something like that? Because they're witches. There are a few reasons. First of all, they believe that Wilma killed their daughter, so that explains their motive. Yeah, because they were just trying to cover shit up. Second, they left town right around the time of Wilma's murder. And third, there was something not quite right about them. Yeah, they never opened their fucking eyes. When I spoke to them, they seemed almost a little too upset, as though they had rehearsed what they were going to say. Yes, I got that feeling as well. What are you saying? Uh, the thing I just told you. I think the McBees aren't what they seem to be. I think the whole child murder thing was a red... <laughs> this is like throwing people off. I'm just gonna kill my children to throw you off. So you think the whole case is based on a lie? You do realize how ridiculous that sounds, don't you? Maybe, but I have a gut feeling that something about them isn't quite right. I think they might even still be in town, possibly wearing hoods. Your gut is never as reliable as pure fact, Jordan. We'll see. So who do you think killed the McBee children? I think I just told you. Oh wait, he he asked uh, he asked who killed the witch, obviously the uh, the old Wilma. <laughs> Um, so, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure they killed their own children as well. Welcome to the coven. We have evil cookies. Yes. Hi, hey, Templar Bunny. Um, nice to meet you. Um, you know what? Actually, wait a minute. Didn't, didn't Constable McGee confess to actually killing the kids? But not... No, wait. I'm confused. Yes, I, yeah, Darth, I accused the Wilma killer, uh, but now who killed the kids? And I'm, I'm almost liable to say that the McBees did it again, but... Ooh, say nobody killed them. Hey, confess you did it. Why would I... <laughs> I almost want to go back and just screw this up immensely and just say, I fucking killed them. You know what, I'm gonna accuse the McBees again, let's see what happens. The McBees themselves! You think the McBees killed their own children? Obviously. Yes, I've seen it on the news thousands of times. Although I'm, I'm pretty sure the correct answer is actually that they're not dead. At all. The parents come on TV acting heartbroken and sobbing their eyes out saying, Please return our children! Yes, I saw it on the news. Then a couple of weeks later they confessed to killing the kids themselves. Couple of weeks. The fact that they left town so quickly is pretty suspicious too, if you ask me. I must say, I hadn't considered that possibility because I'm a crap investigator. Very well, I shall look into that angle. After all, the more evidence we have on this murder, the better. 
Excuse me. That was him, by the way. That wasn't me. For now, we are done here. Please leave now, Jordan. I am finished with you. Alright, so I'm gonna save here because at some point... Interrogation done. At some point I want to go back and just screw all that up. <laughs> See how bad that went. So what do you guys think? Do you think, uh... Do you think the McBees off their own kids or do you think they're still alive? I mean, it, the game would take a pretty dark turn, uh, even for even by Francisco standards, if that actually turns out to be true. But I kind of want it to be true. Not that I want all children to die, just the ones I meet at the supermarket. But uh, it would actually be a kind of freaky story if you know they'd actually killed their own kids for the witches coming kind of thing, and then uh, everything went to hell. Because, see, it doesn't really make sense that they would call up me as a private paranormal investigator type person to find kids that are still alive and kicking in a very small town. Where the hell are you going to hide them? Because I, you know, I got my magic crowbar. I break into shit. I, I look everywhere. Um, so I think they're actually, uh, I think they're actually dead. Yeah, Darth says they're dead. I'm trying to work out the other thing Darth just said. Yay, we had two sex twice this day. Whatever you say, dude. But the McBees are definitely involved. So, um... Where to next, I guess? Maybe I should go uh, explain this turn of events to, um... To my new love interest. <laughs> I mourn the death of the Trank Crowbar. Yes, so do I. I want my fucking crowbar. Actually, I should have gone to check if the sheriff was still lying, <laughs> you know, outside of town. Go unlock your room and go in. She's still sleeping? I was just interrogated. Where the hell were you? It's a good thing that dude doesn't have the key to my room. Ah, uh, thank you. We had sex twice. This yes, first, uh, we had real penetrative sex, and then we were fucked enormously by the British investigator of stupidness. Now, the sheriff has now fucked off, so either he was dragged off by his cult buddies, or, you know, wolves ate him. Either way, I'm good. So let's head off to the forest and see if we can see anything. I might be going in, you know, the completely wrong direction that the game wants me to go into. So fucking exit the screen, please. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This wasn't here before, was it? Something has been written on the tree. You take a closer look. Oh, I wish Josh were here. He knows the answer to this. Hang on, I'm just gonna fucking look this up. Because I was told that um, Ben Jordan 3 walkthrough. I was actually told that this bit was quite important. You needed to uh, figure this bit of code out to finish the game. The other one was kind of a, yeah, well, fuck it. But this one is quite uh, important somehow. Which code puzzle? The second one is essential to decipher this message in order to finish the full route. Unless you're very good at guesswork, blah blah blah, it actually says... WW, PK, PQJ, BJ, and Z. What? It says eliminate PQJ. Signed, signed C. Okay, wait a minute. All right. It says eliminate PQJ, and then there's a uh, signature down here. Uh, guys, that's, um,. That's, that's the, that's Percival. That's the uh, British dude who just interrogated us. And also, yes, that is a terrible texture to put in the, um, um... I'm gonna save once more. I know I just saved a second ago. I think this means that we have to go and, uh, actually... ...tell this dude that he's about to be offed. I'm keeping these save games, by the way, so that I can go back and fuck things up in, uh, intentionally. <laughs> Yay, he dies. Not on my fucking watch!
The music in here is now suddenly ironically cheerful. All right, let's head up and talk to... By the way, could you interrogate me some more? It was so awesome. Jordan, I haven't got time for you right now. I'm too busy formulating theories and picking my ass. Uh, tell me what the witch code. Professor, you're in trouble. And what makes you say that? There's a message on a tree written in witch code, and it's incredibly threatening. <laughs> Thank you. And what does it say? What did the code say? It said eliminate... Ah, oh, shit, was it PQ? I forget. I forget his initials. It's a PQJ. That's it. PQJ. Sorry, just gotta get the chat back up. There we go. It said eliminate PQJ, and it was signed by someone called Z. Are, are you sure? Yes, it was written on one of the trees at the top of the hill near the dark forest. Go see for yourself if you don't believe me. See, I was actually wondering how the game was going to, you know, because you could have just randomly walked up and started talking to him. Uh, I will. Uh, uh, um, uh, so you might accidentally stumble upon the um, correct solution. Also, I hope this is not on a timer because I want to steal his shovel. You decided to borrow Percy's shovel for a while. And also his... But it's actually, we're going to go commit some serious murder. <laughs> Percy may be a jerk, but that doesn't give you the right to go snooping through his stuff. Except, you know, bore his shovel is all right. Let's have a look under his pillow. For a second, you consider getting into bed and farting in it. Just like your brother used to do to your bed when you were a kid. But you decide not to. Damn. Okay, so I can't go through his shit. Can I smooch it? Talking to it won't stop now. God damn it. Yes, yes, dig up the dead kids. Oh my god, Darth, you're absolutely right. That is certainly and absolutely what we're going to do. Dig up dead everyone! Yes! Actually, Suryar poses an interesting thing, which is that either we should follow him, uh, Percy Dursey, or we should go uh, dig up the dead kids. So... Follow or dig. Follow or dig. So, we're gonna try and follow him, see what happens. Hi Summer, you missed all the action! Well, not technically, no, because we are about to go and dig up some dead children. So, um, welcome back. So, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, nowhere, apparently. Yes, Salty Horse, this is very much related to the dig, because now we have a shovel, and I'm going to shovel hard. <laughs> ben Jordan 3, shovel harder. Alright, there was no one to follow. Thanks for the suggestion, Syriar. Um, but that's... Apparently it's not that kind of game. It is, however... I can't believe I'm saying this. It's gravy, gravy time! Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. There will be digging, and there will be celebratory drinking. And that's... And all matter of bountiful things. If I can go through the arch already, I'm too excited. Um. And now, completely unprovocated and for no fucking reason whatsoever, Ben Jordan is going to dig up some kids. Reluctantly, you pull out the shovel and begin digging up the McBee children's grave. Has anyone else been looking forward to this as much as I have? Even the witch has. Even the points witch has been looking forward to this. That is some swift digging action, though. And after what seems like hours, you finally hit something. You hop into the open grave. You don't climb into it. You don't carefully uh, submerge yourself in the soil. You hop into it like a bunny or perhaps Mario going down a pipe. Cool. Kind of ruining the solemn event there, Ben. All right, we're down here, and uh, please tell me... They, they didn't give me back my fucking crowbar, but okay. You hold your breath as you prepare to lift the coffin lid, because pungency. With a creak, you open the lid. <laughs> Darth, jump on those dead kids' bodies, yes. Looking inside the coffin, you see... Absolutely nothing. The coffin is completely empty. Kind of a letdown. 
what the hell is going on here? And then you get uh, something shoved in your face, doesn't Oh, hello! You suddenly have a very bad feeling in the pit of your stomach. Possibly because, you know... The, and these are the two bespectacled, bespectacled grieving parents, so to speak. Well, hello, uh, Mr. Jordan. It seems you've been busy. Mr. and Mrs. McBee, I thought you were leaving town. <laughs> don't play coy with us, Jordan. You don't know what you've seen. And neither do you, because you never open your fucking eyes! So you two are members of the witch co- That's right, but we aren't the only ones. Everyone in Smellhome is. Even your precious Mary. You don't even have children, do you? That is not <laughs> your concern right now. Ha, the idea of us actually raising little brats is almost too ridiculous to consider. So where do you get your blood for your rituals? So if your kids weren't murdered, why was I called out here? Why was Mary put in jail if she's one of you? And why did you bother making this fake grave? We could answer your questions, but I think there's something else who would do a better job. And who might that be? That would be me, Satan. Hello. Hey, you're that guy from the painting in the McBee's house. Yes, I'm quite evil. That is correct. I'm Sotheus, Grand Warlock. <laughs> Sorceress? Were oh, your parents fans of cheesy 80s movies or something? Get one, Ben. Silence. I have no time to waste. The evening draws near and soon it will be time for a sacrifice. <laughs> he does have that kind of <laughs> face. What are you sacrificing? Why, we're sacrificing you, Mr. Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> Please stay for dinner. I guess I should have seen that coming. But why me? Come along now. This is no time for questions. Actually, there's been plenty of time for questions, and we still haven't answered the, the big fucking question. Why did Mary lead us on a string all this time? We'll have to subdue you, and I can assure that won't be a pleasant experience. I am going to trank each and every one of your asses. Well, I guess I don't have much... You had plenty of choice. You had a trank gun and a shovel. Honestly. Jesus, let me just take a breather here. Uh, first of all, first of all, I'm gonna catch up on, on the chat. Uh, yes. <laughs> the chat is... <laughs> characteristically... Yeah. Good one. Okay, let me, let me, I'm, I'm trying to sort my thoughts here. Um, so, everyone in town is actually part of the witch cult. Okay, cool. I, I can, I, I can see that. Um, a few questions. Did that include Wilma, the witch, who uh, was trying to help us and conjuring weird stuff down by the lake? Also, what was up with that parenthesis? Uh, why did we never get the spell? Uh, was she leading? Did she did she off herself just to string me along? Probably not. Um, why did Mary string us along? Why did uh, why, why did she, why did she make us go through all that trouble to? play the victim and all of that it was just just a you know citywide charade to keep the mystery up because it's a terrible mystery <laughs> all right fine let's uh let's keep going well now this is a fine mess you're in you've been designated this evening's sacrifice and are currently tied to a stake the members of the witch cult have been muttering to themselves for about 15 minutes Wondering which barbecue sauce to pour over you, and you sense that something bad is going to happen soon. Gee, what fucking clued you in. On the bright side, nobody bothered searching through your pockets before tying you up. So if you do something, if you do somehow manage to escape, you won't be at a disadvantage. My brothers, the time for sacrifice draws near. It's nearly midnight, and our lamb is in place. <laughs> Make sure he suffers, master. He must pay for what he did. He clocked you over the head with a shovel. No, not even that, a crowbar. Come on. Now, now, Brother McGee, the sacrifice is supposed to be a time of rejoicing and rebirth, not of blood for... Uh, now, nah, wait, wait a minute. I have a lot of questions, and I also demand some answers. Very well. I'm feeling a bit generous tonight, and I'm going to go and polish my head. Okay... I wonder if we can get through all of them before he just goes, I tire of your questions. Yes, I still have my gun, and yes, I am also still angry about the Trank crowbar. I want I wanna I want my fucking Trank crowbar back. <laughs> Alright, first of all, what's this sacrifice all about? Why are you having this sacrifice anyway? 
Today is the festival of Lamas. <laughs> we commemorate the, uh, this occasion with the gift of I eternal youth. Uh, hence, we must sacrifice a young virgin and take their youth every 20 years. But, but um, uh, you've... You've made a, a terrible mistake. I'm not a... We we know for a fact that you are. We can tell these things. Yeah, yes, yes. While you were blacked out, we poked you in the... Yes. Also, what did Mary... Do? So, basically, he got Mary into bed. And, and she just, you know, poked at his penis for a bit. And just went, boom, we've had sex. You don't need to go and, you know, read up on it or anything. We're, we're done here. It's all good. <laughs> what the hell? And also, you know, Ben's been spending the past two games just trying to, you know, chase up any skirt that comes along. So, really, honestly, it's like Lisa Suit Larry, paranormal investigator. I have read about, uh, you were the, you have read about you. You were the leader of a witch cult back in colonial America, weren't you? It seems my reputation precedes me. Um, yes, that was I. Our sacrifice was interrupted by a, a constable who infiltrated that group. I then, uh wooed him with my fabulous appearance. I was able to escape. You're from Romania. Originally, yes. After spending a few centuries regaining strength by sucking life out of some nearby villages, I came here. Hehe. <laughs> and the people of Smailhorm have been very loyal to me. <laughs> They're helping my model career. <laughs> Why does he... Because it, 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 his little uh, uh, portrait box there has him going like this. Or I should probably turn to the camera when I do that. Of all the people to sacrifice, why pick me? Well, you were the most annoying one we could find. An excellent question, but that's a long story and time is precious. Suffice it to say that luring you here was easy. <laughs> all we had to do was make up the story of the murdered children and assign everyone a role. Uh, places, people! <laughs> That way, we could make certain that you wouldn't be running around investigating while we prepared your sacrifice. <laughs> Is he wearing lipstick? And obviously it worked, despite the small unforeseen deviation. <laughs> uh, what deviation? I wasn't anticipating a crowbar to the head. And you were not intended to free Mary. <laughs> of course, we worked around that, and uh, here you are. Yes, you could have just come up to me at any time, brained me over the head, dragged me over here, and that... Uh, that would have been it. Why'd you let me run around the fucking... Stop! I love him even though I've only known him for 48 hours. Well, well, if it isn't Sister Blaine, why are you not wearing your robes? Come on, really. Mary, is it true? Are you really a witch? Well, obviously, yes. I mean, I was hanging out with fucking Wilma. However, I didn't anticipate you would be so kind to me. I thought you would just think I was the enemy. I, I, was, I was actually pissed poor at playing my part. I never thought I'd feel this way. Oh, I love you, Ben! Someone shoot her, please. Touching. However, I might remind you that we have a sacrifice to perform, so, um... I won't let you harm him, sorceress. I've had enough of living forever. Yeah, me too. Very well. If that's the way you feel, I shall alleviate you of your great burden. <laughs> Off you go. Mary, no! Now then, where were we? <laughs> you find yourself overcome with rage at the idea that Mary truly loved you. Seemingly the only person in the world who would ever think to. And the Zorthrus so thoughtlessly took her away from you with a fucking... I mean, how cool was that? Like, fireball. Super Street Fighter fireball. <laughs> Trying to catch up on the chat here. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mary, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Fuck off. All right. Well, uh, back to um, back to the game. We are overcome with rage. How shall we uh, expend our rage? Do you think you struggle angrily and break free from the ropes? So the past fifteen minutes of struggling was not actually just you were just listening to them mumble. And, okay. Here we go. And then he casually walks off screen, and no one gives chase. <laughs> The sacrifice is escaping. What do we do, Master? You, you fools, you just let him get away. He was just walking casually. Obviously, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. I'll handle this with my fabulous appearance. And he turns into a fucking bat. Well, fuck me. You managed to find your way to the entrance of the dark forest, but you can't keep running. He wasn't. He was casually sauntering. You need to deal with sorcerers somehow and probably save our game. Deal with bat person. 
How should we deal with him, O oh Lord? I think we should trank the fuck out of him. What do you guys say? Fireball. Fireball? Show yourself, piss bitch. Piss bitch. Wait, there's something on the uh, floor. It's a branch. I can see the branch from here. A loose branch lies on the ground. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So if I... No? I, I thought I was going to trip over the branch. Pick up the fucking branch. You bent down and pick up the stick, feeling an odd sense of deja vu. And he was just walking around. I mean, for a chase, picture this in like a movie. The chase sequence, the music is kicking in. Everything is just pumped with excitement. And then the character just slowly walks around the stick for a few hours before picking it up. Picking up the stick triggers. Ah, Jordan, there you are. Stay away from me. You killed Mary. I'll trank you like the wild animal you are. Yes, yes, I've seen this before. You loved her. She loved you. It's also terribly tragic. Now, please come back to the fire pit. You heartless bastard! All you care about is your sacrifice! Well, it is quite important. I suppose that's true. Of course, being a Strigoi, I don't need the sacrifice. I just, you know, strung those people along. I can survive on my own by draining blood from unsuspecting victims. I just find it much easier to have a loyal following to do all the work for me. Tee hee. Now, enough chatter. Come quietly. Or I should have no choice but to kill you myself. Yeah. <laughs> He does look like a contestant from America's Next Top Model, doesn't he? I'd like to see you try. Yes. Now, everyone, let's trank him! You pull out the tranquilizer gun and shoot at Sorceress and fail miserably. Nope, we succeeded. All right, let's rummage his ass. You doubt you can do much to him with your bare hands. Should we beat him over the head with a shovel? See what the tracks has to say? And we bone, so we're not a virgin. Well, I, we, we're kind of past that, Darth. You stick. I, I, I know I'm supposed to use the stick, but I just want to beat him over the head with a shovel. Can I just beat him over the head with a shovel, please? Darth says, Trank shovel. We're going to do it. Oh, come on! Fine, we'll use the fucking magic stick. As you haven't got an actual stake, you figure the stick will be the next best thing. But could we just beat him over the head with a shovel a little? You take a deep breath and prepare to drive the stick into Sorthera's heart. Then you fail and die. Hey, that's some nice piece of animation, actually. Whee! And then Percy shows up and is also a vampire. Jordan, what the devil are you doing out here? Um, showing up. Uh, uh, Professor Jones, I just destroyed Sorthera's, the creature that was behind all of this. Oh, sure, sure, I don't believe you at all. Is that so? I'm glad I found you. My sources led me to believe that you had been kidnapped and sacrificed by these lunatics. Ha, 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 ha. Your sources, eh? Well, that's what they were planning on doing, but I managed to escape. Where are they now? You must take me to them so I can arrest them. Fine, you follow me. Have fun with them. Yeah, follow me. They're over on this hill to the west. Have fun. <laughs> uh, my god, I don't believe this. They're all dead. Well, she did say something about living forever. And they've all aged dramatically, too. Dramatically. I guess with Sorceress gone and no sacrifice, they couldn't go on living. Though this is by far the most bizarre things I've ever seen. <laughs> well, obviously, there's nothing more to do here, so I suppose we can declare this case closed. Tally-ho, ta-ra, I'm off. I'm going to have to ask you to accompany back me back to England. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, as you were directly involved in this case, I'll need your input and such for the paperwork. Sounds fine to me. After all, I could use a break, and also I have frequent flyer miles, so fuck it. Off to London I go. So now that you've seen this, does it mean you're not going to be so close-minded anymore? All I see is the ge local geriatric association passed out on the lawn. I'm fine. I'll admit I've seen some strange happenings on this case, but I wouldn't go so far as to say I'd believe in the paranormal just yet. Oh, don't worry. I'll make a believer out of you yet. Will you accompany me to my bedroom? And so, Ben went back to London with Percy to fill out the case paperwork. <laughs> Coming soon, Ben Jordan, case four, the case paperwork. While he was there, he took some time off and went sightseeing to try and get the pain of losing Mary out of his head. Oh, Mary. Ah, staring at Whitechapel almost makes me forget you were struck down by a cheesy fireball effect. I mean, I almost had you too, even though we... Technically, it didn't have sex. You just poked at my penis for a bit and told me that was sex. I have, however, since visited the local library and found out I was being lied to. I feel very sad now. 
Looking at Whitechapel, I now wish that I could... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Scotland Yard reimbursed him for his services as he didn't get any money from the case. Why? Why did he do that? Technically, as far as Percy is concerned, uh, all he did was come up to his room, tell him there are bits written on a tree. You might want to go have a look at that. Percy runs off, looks at the tree, righty, righty home, there's a thing written on the tree. He, technically, Ben could have just left that there, and then he would have run off and um, killed the entire geriatric association of Smellholm and just left them out on the lawn. I don't know. I mean, to, to I, I'm just trying to see this from Percy's perspective. There's not a whole lot of, you know, solid detective work going on here. It's just like, oh, oh, Tyrio, you've uh, managed to defeat a bunch of people in robes. Um, here, have a large sum of money. However, Ben still wondered why he specifically had been chosen to be the sacrifice for the witch cult. I'm still gonna bank on how fucking annoying he is. You may want to check out the other path, as it has different puzzles and an alternate ending. Thanks for playing, see you next time, and the game fucking quits on me. Alright, should we just quickly see how the other path goes? There's nothing like the sound of a monkey stuttering to wake up in the day. Alright. Yes, this is the one after the interrogation. So let's just get brained over the head by the sheriff. And have a victory sip. Cheerio, lads. What did I miss? <laughs> Isn't the sheriff supposed to be here? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I loaded the interrogation done. Ah, this is the one we want. This is the, uh, breaky Casey thing. Here we go. Mr. Sheriff, yes. Please knock me out cold, I don't give a shit. Here you go. Boof. Come on. The constable fires. You feel a sharp pain in your leg. Suddenly, everything gets fuzzy and you black out a lot. Day three, take two. You finally wake up and find yourself tied up in a very small room. Your pockets feel slightly emptier too. You hear muffled voices nearby. Well, I should probably do something then. You're in a dark, tiny room. You must be in... You guess it must be a storage closet under a staircase. Oh yeah, because the innkeeper was in on it as well. Although he didn't have a very large role to play. So I guess the drunk people in the inn at the start of the game were also in on it. They probably had the easy parts to play. All right, you, you Eddie and, and Charlie, you just sit over here in the corner and drink yourself silly. How's that? Okay, good, good, fine, fine. Well, one of them was the constable, but I'm just guessing. Uh, anyway. Uh, yes, but I can see items and I want to do things to them. Can I move around? You struggle a bit. The ropes are kind of tight. Oh, we have to make him angry first. It's a Hulk thing. You struggle a bit more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I clicked way too fast. Is this one of those three times? Yeah, this time you frantically wriggle around. The ropes around you, your hand definitely feel a lot looser. Constable McGee must not have been paying too much attention during knot tying classes. You manage to loosen the rope and free yourself from bondage. Naughty, naughty, Francisco. The repeat something until something works. <laughs> Boo hoo. Anyway, did we pick up the rope? We have the rope. And this key unlocks my room. So maybe. Well, let's look, let's look through this thing. You peer through the keyhole. I trust everything is still going according to plan. Oh, that's probably uh, um, America's Next Top Model under that one. Yes, Master, I've taken care of The sacrifice is being prepared? Aye, everything is in readiness. I am pleased to hear that. You've served me well, Brother Mickey. <laughs> I must go and rest now. I, I shall see you this evening. I've got a lot of puppies to kill and uh, kids to kick around. Yes, mm. You hear the sound of someone exiting a door and someone else climbing upstairs. Could be anyone. 
someone in the room above you begins pacing back and forth. Well, I'm gonna venture a guess and say that's, uh... That's Percy. Why, why... Is this squeak thing important? Well, there's, there's a thing up here. I'm just gonna, you know... It's an adventure game. I don't know why I'm tossing a rope onto the hook, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. And once it squeaks, I'm gonna pull it for no reason whatsoever. You see nothing to do there. Fuck you. You pull the rope. The floorboard above is definitely loose. You tug on the rope as hard as you can. The weight of the person on the loose board. What? The weight of the person on the loose board and your pulling causes it to collapse. Whee! What in blazes? Now I'm going to tickle your feet. I'm stuck. That is awesome. Where is my... Darth, where the fuck is my trank crowbar? Can't reach him from here, but that would be fun. All right, let's exit. Door's locked. Pick up the rope and hook. Can we poke him in the ass with it? I want to poke him in the ass with it. Oh, come on. All right, let's uh, toss that up and yank his ass down. <laughs> Using your rope and hook, you snag the constable's pants and tear them. You pull the rope back to find a key attached to it. That is a lucky fucking shot. I have to say. Alright, let's unlock and then go up to the room and kick him in the head. Ben, over here! Mary, how'd you get out of jail? I haven't got time to explain now, Ben. We're in terrible danger. <laughs> She's a shifty one, isn't she? I'll say people in this town are dangerous. Me, it's not safe here, Ben. Yes, that's what I just said. Come with me. I know of a place in the woods where we can stay and plan our next move. Our next move. Here we are. We'll be safe now. What? This is just the fucking woods just outside of town. Uh, all right. I'd like to see the look on the faces of those witches when they realize we won't be having their sacrifice tonight. Well, what makes you say that? You're out of town. They were going to sacrifice you tonight. And actually, no, they weren't. Weren't they? Ah, oh, Ben. I told you your trusting nature was going to get you hurt someday, and now it's going to be by me. I have him, Master! Master, so you're a witch too! What fucking clued you in? Hello, I flute. <laughs> she is, along with the rest of the village. They have been most loyal. <laughs> a bit incompetent, but yeah, what are you going to do with hired help in the case of Brother McGee? But Sister Blaine has served me quite well. <laughs> who, who are you? Oh, how rude I've been. Uh, I'm I'm Sotheris. I'm in the finals in America's Next Top Model. Sotheris? Sounds like a bad 80s movie. Silence! The time draws near for the sacrifice. <laughs> I thought Mary said you weren't going to kill her. That's right. We're, we're going to kill you. What part of... I don't understand. Okay, what part of this is hard to understand? Look, you have two choices, Mr. Jordan. Either you come along quietly, or I shall have no choice but to render you unconscious while we transport you to the sacrificial altar. <laughs> I've been unconscious enough for one day. Let's go. I'm free. <laughs> I would advise you not to try any sudden moves. You, you would not like to experience my wrath, I, I can assure you. Where's my Trank Crowbar? And we're back at the stake. The members of the witch called blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Wait. Oh, wait. Sorry. Mary had some dialogue. God damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for skipping that. Enough chatter. Stop right there. Oh, then Percy shows up. Professor Jones, I never thought I'd be glad to see you. I'm here to assist. Quiet, Jordan. We have business to conduct. You're all under arrest for the conspiracy to commit a murder. Amusing. <laughs> this man thinks he can stop us. <laughs> Come along quietly, or you leave me no choice but to use force. The force, in fact. I have a deal with George Lucas. Brothers, deal with him. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Your paltry weapons are no match for me. However, a trank gun. I'll get him, Master. Or not. I do believe it. He bloody vanished. I, I told you, they're witches who vanish when you shoot them, ev evidently. Brothers, kill this man. I must away now. Ta-ta. Did you see that? He turned into a bat. No, no. We were all looking the other way. You must be a Strigoi. They're a type of vampire witch from Romania. I've read about them in my Paranormal Investigator's Handbook. Yes, 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 yes. They're very interesting. I don't believe this is happening. Could you maybe stop disbelieving me long enough to untie me? That'd be cool. And none of the other dudes are gonna do anything. I'll hold off these people while you go catch that thing because 
that's pretty easy. They're just all standing around the cauldron. <laughs> oh, and now we're on this screen, and there's no twig. You can't run forever, Sorceress. So you escape. Not a pity. If we can't sacrifice you tonight, all the villagers will die. I'm pretty cool with that, actually. What about you? I'll just turn into a bat. Hmm. I don't need the sacrifice to live. I can manage on my own, taking blood from unsuspecting victims. It's just so much easier when you have a loyal following to help you out. <laughs> but enough chatter. If they don't sacrifice you, at least I can feast on your blood tonight. <laughs> Come over here. I have a present for you. Okay, so... Do I hook him? Do I run? Do I... I hook him. Frantically, you toss the razor-sharp hook in the general direction of Zorzra's neck. Sure, that worked. <laughs> ah, Jordan, there you are. Professor Jones, what happened to the rest of the cult? They fell over. Mm -hmm. It was the strangest thing. They had all ganged up me. I thought it was all over because I'm a terrible shot. And then they all disintegrated into ash. That's probably because I just killed Zorthrus. Wait, you're getting the rules mixed up. Last time they just slumped over and aged. Anyway, I think it's safe, blah, blah, blah. Perhaps so, although I can't claim to understand half of what happened. I think there's nothing more to be done here. Da, tally ho. Yeah, I have a lot of unanswered questions myself. It makes me wonder if I could have found out more somehow. Well, now is not the time to dwell upon what could have been. I think the first order of business is to leave this place and do all the necessary paperwork. Yeah, I quite enjoyed the paperwork. Yes, yes, quite. Since you participated actively in the case, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to accompany me back to England and act as a witness, where you shall receive paperwork to fill out. Um, yes, paperwork. All right, I guess I could use a break from all of this. Let's go. Yeah, Scott, as long as Scotland Yard pays us, quite right, Saul's yours. Okay, so Ben accompanied Percy back to London, where he helped him file a whole bunch of boring paperwork at this... Now, now it's boring paperwork. No. Scotland Yard reimbursed Ben for the money he didn't make as a result of the case for, again, no real reason. Although, I'd say Percy had more of a, you know, insight into the paranormal goings-on. However, Ben was left wondering several things about the case. Who had murdered the McBee children? Who, why had he been picked to be sacrificed? Why did the McBees have a painting of Zorthrus in their living room? However, there wasn't any way Ben could find out now, so he quickly tried putting the questions out of his mind as he sailed the Thames in a boat he'd made out of paper. You should go back and try taking the other path. Thanks for playing, see you next time. And so, the game ends. And, uh, wow. <laughs> that was actually, that was a good one. I quite liked that. Uh, so, uh, well... And look, we're keeping time too. It's, it's about uh, an hour ago since I started, so th this is all very well. Let's just catch up on what the chat has had to say for the past fantastic amount of time when I was just... Oh, there's a lot of touch yourself, super touch yourself, looking through holes. Actually, that was one thing I really enjoyed about the not true path was the whole, you know poking someone in the legs with a hook and actually that hook went in quite handy although i dearly wanted my trank crowbar back i i really miss that the trank crowbar is the true star of ben jordan 3 and um i do look forward to um uh, ben jordan 4 boring paperwork uh but uh, that that's gonna have to be some other time see what i've actually been uh, aching to do on this channel is to play more games where i get to interact more with you guys in the chat so i was actually thinking of giving ben jordan a little pause and uh go for uh, something like a, a tex murphy pandora directive what do you guys think anyone You'll have time to think about it, <laughs> uh, but uh, really, because because uh, with uh, with a game like uh, Pandora Directive, you get to pick how to act towards people, and the way you act towards the uh, player characters in the game um, influences how the story shapes out. So we can be either a good guy, a bad guy, or a middling waffly kind of guy. And you know, there are like I think there's six or seven different endings in that game, so that could be fun in a sort of you know collaborative spirit playing. Pandora Directive with the Twitch chat, the delightfully weird 
people we've got going in here. So uh, some, something tells me we might end up with a really weird playthrough of Pandora Directive, and I, I, never, I would dearly love to see that happen. So, um, yes. Oh, there's, a, there's one yes to text from a Templar bunny. I, by the way, I love your fucking nickname, dude. <laughs> that is, <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, I think there's... Uh, well, it's, I was just kind of polling you guys, but um, yes, I think uh, the, the chat has spoken. I think next time we uh, sit down and do this, which uh, will... I'm, I'm, I was going to say we are going to do this next Wednesday. Apparently, I am not to be trusted, so... Uh, Ooh, Summer says the um, Tex Murphy games are kind of long. Yes, they are, but I have played Pandora Directive a million times, so I know exactly how to get through the game, and in quite the uh, speedy fashion. Also, I cheat. Uh, you know, there are some, uh, you know, logic puzzles, and I'm just going to skip them. Don't even want to mess with them. I just want to get through the story, and uh, the fun part about that game, again, is that you guys can help along. It is certainly not a game that we're going to get done in a single sitting or two sittings. It's it's a fairly long game, that's true. But I think we could, uh, I think we could do it. You, me, and the world. So, uh, yeah, and uh, if, it's, if it's your first time uh, experiencing a... Tex Murphy game, the Pandora Directive is not a bad place to start. First of all, you don't need to know anything that happened in the previous games to follow the uh, the, the story. It's a completely standalone story. Also, it's uh, it's a 90s FMV game, so there's a lot of, you know, um, you know, sitting back and uh, joking about the, you know, the acting and such. And also, there are some pretty cool actors in it. Um, the dude who plays Gordon Fitzpatrick is uh, a gentleman who was also in Invasion of the Body Snatchers, Kevin McCarthy. That's his name, Kevin McCarthy? Kevin McMurphy. No, it's Kevin McCarthy, yeah. Um, and he's fabulous. He has no idea what the hell he's doing in a computer game, but he just owns every shot he's in. So, um, yeah. I think we're going to play Pandora Directive next. Cool. And I hope to see all of you guys there next Wednesday. Fingers crossed. I will let you know uh, on Twitter at SQ Historian and in the uh, Twitch updates uh that's are on twitch.tv slash basequesthistorian if I miss it or have to postpone it or whatever. So um, anyway, cheers. Uh, do go check out the, the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash basequesthistorian. Give me a subscribe. I'm nearly at 200 uh, subscribers, I think. Wait, I actually don't know. Let me check. <laughs> I, don't, I don't keep up with subscriber counts for some reason. Oh, I'm at 254. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> so you could be lucky number 255 also some weird scowly eyes on my youtube channel um uh, my my eyes they judge you so anyway no i am going to shut up now and uh let you guys get on with your fabulous evening or morning or whatever it is where you are i am going to have my final victory sip because oh dear god that's good like a big old Fuck off glass of yeah sorry it's just coke it's, not, <laughs> it's nothing interesting but yeah thank you for staying and sticking out uh, ben jordan 3 i will see you for pandora directive next time on sqh streams and i'll see you around the chrono stream ta-ta guys <laughs>